The great Gonzalez's fans are here! <laughs> yeah, this time, uh, it's not Rawcock's fans, it's the great Gonzalez's. By the way, um, when you were here earlier in the walkthrough with Rawcock, I forgot to show this completely, you could actually knock away the fans, and if you knock away all of Rawcock's fans, he'll say something like, well, just because you don't have any fans doesn't mean you should scare mine away or something like that. <laughs> uh, let's see what these peeps have to say since I am now the victor. Hmm. Hmm. I am cheese. Because cheese is good with anything. <laughs> uh, huh? Uh, what? 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 <laughs> That's peculiar. Isn't there someone? Yeah, there is someone here. Um... <laughs> You're welcome. And you can actually knock away all these fans, by the way. Oh, wait, there's someone else to talk to here? Wait, I, I just bumped into someone. Who did I bump into? Come on! Where? I, 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 I couldn't move for a second. Where are you? Unless it was just fans that were getting in my way and they're able to block me. Oh wait, it's you! Welcome to Glitz Pit, welcome to your way to go, Mr. Gonzalez. Congratulations, champ! Hey, you're just beginning your gotta... Woohoo! Congrats, indeed! <laughs> um... How about you two? The great mustache never loses! I wanna be like you! How do I grow a mustache? Well, kid, you gotta be a little older and hit puberty. <laughs> that away, great Gonzalez! My son never doubted you for a second! Uh, anyone else to talk to because of my victory? Um, oh, I already talked to you before, just that the fans are cleared out here. <laughs> I couldn't tell that was you before. Uh, and I talked to you before, so you do move around. Ah, stop it! Go! Go! Stop it! I don't like being touched in that way. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna head on over to the shop here to see if I have something useful here, because I'm gonna head back over to the pits of 100 trials. So I'm gonna grab uh, to the, I mean, the best shroom, the best syrup, and a whack a bump for versatility, and I'll see you back over at the pit. Here we are, back at the pit of 100 trials. Ooh. Okay, I'm going in. Uh, what I want to do is go down to the 50th floor. And get the item there, because I am so tired of having a lack of uh, inventory space here. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do before I go over to uh, the Thousand Year Door. And I was told by a bunch of people that I missed a pair of Gloomba Tattles. So I'm going to have to go through up until I think it's to the 11th to the 19th floor, if I'm not mistaken, to... Uh, get the Paragloomba because that's when they appear, so I'm gonna cut ahead until I get to that spot. Floor 10, going down. And if I recall, there should be a Paragloomba, yep, right off the bat. So I'm just gonna let it touch me this time without me jumping on it. So let's get that tattle. Oh, and by the way, if I didn't say it already, yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. <laughs> So here we go, Paragloomba Tattle, finally! That's a Paragloomba! It's a Gloomba with wings! Max HP is 7, attack is 3, and defense is 0. It's like a stronger version of a Paracoopa, and maybe that's all there is to it. I wonder if living down here ever makes its wings moldy. Yuck! It's too gross to even think about. Blech. I think if, it, if its wings were moldy, that would be pretty unhealthy. And it probably wouldn't live all that long, so I don't think that's a possibility. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to see you when I reach the 20th floor now. Because, as I said, I want to reach floor number 50, and I gotta traverse the other floors to do so. Um, so yeah, I'll cut forward. 
Floor 20. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's actually level 20. All right, here we go. Uncharted Lands coming up now. So I'm going to switch to Goombella here because I'm pretty sure a Tattle will be right off the bat. Yep, a spiky Gloomba. Hello. Hey. I'd like to do a little damage to you. There we go. <laughs> So I think what I'm going to do here with the Pit of 100 Trials is every 10 floors I'm going to end off the parts. And uh, as for future Pit of 100 Trials parts, what I'm going to do is most likely um, not show like the, the run in its entirety, but simply just show you new floors. Because there's a random factor to the Pit of 100 Trials and... Showing the floors over and over again doesn't really help that, you know, even if I show the run in its entirety. So, the next time that I come down through this, it's going to be floors 51 and up. That's a spiky Gloomba! It's a spiky Goomba that, that likes dark places! Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Its attack is pretty high, huh? I'm sure you know this, but try not to jump on the spike. I wonder if it'd look like that if I stayed on here long enough. Uh, I'd rather not think about that. Are there tanning slons in Roadport? <laughs> so yeah, that it's a pretty powerful little critter there. You might want to wipe that out as fast as possible. If you can, well actually, you know, I'm going to do a little sleepy sheep. Maybe I can knock it out. So yeah, I'm going to go through in, in this part and the next two parts, the Pit of 100 Trials floors 31 through 50. Ugh! That worked out okay. And then what I'm going to do after that is um, then continue on with the adventure and then do post-game stuff after I do the stuff and stuff. Yeah, you get what I'm saying here. <laughs> um, let's do a head bonk on this one. Let's knock it down a little bit. And now let's start taking out this. Ah! Okay, that's one down. Please do not wake up other spiky Goomba. Well, I mean, uh, spiky Gloomba, pardon me. Um, head bonk will be fine on the bandits. There we go. Uh, the Pit of 100 Trials is all about conservation. Conserve your stats as best as you possibly can to survive the place. And... Not gonna get anywhere with... Uh, Goombella, because, yeah, she doesn't have a Spike Stomp badge. There we go. And I've been using Vivian uh, most of the Pit of 100 Trials, actually, because she uh, can hit pretty much anything, for the most part. Uh, I mean, I, I guess Bobbery could too, but for Vivian, you know, she's got uh, the multi-attack as well, you know, the Fiery Jinx. And I've been uh, recovering stats, like from the drops after battles, like via little hearts and flower pickups and whatnot along the way. So yeah, anyway, let's keep going down the floors. I'm gonna try and get through the floors as quickly as possible, because you know, these are just battles, so, uh, and, my, and my stats are relatively high and they would get kind of repetitive after a while, because it's just pure battles, no story or uh, comedy events and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep keep the pacing going, so to speak, and yeah, oh, level up, one point at a time, <laughs> I should probably go for the HP, actually, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that, because, uh, stuff gets harder and harder down the pit, and the game's gonna get harder after I do the pit, Thing's gonna do a lot of damage to me, so yeah. Better to have some HP, I should say some extra HP for defense. Uh, flower points can help with the, the defensive side as well, just by taking out enemies uh, faster than they can do damage to you, but it's not a guaranteed thing like HP is, so yeah, that's why I'm going for the HP. Uh, this is one of the situations where I would prefer to use stuff like the Fiery Jinx, because what happens with if you don't is that you're going to be bombarded by stuff. And yeah, as I said, the pit is all about the conservation. So let's just wipe them out and get on with the floor. Um, you, 
I actually don't recommend that you use items unless you really need to. Like, if you're going to recover stats, use Sweet Treat or Sweet Feast, like, you know, your star power in order to do that. Uh, because, you know, you can recover star power throughout the, the course of the Pit of 100 Trials, but you can't e as easily recover HP and flower points. Um, this should work out fine. I hear some peeps doing road construction in front of the house. Ugh! They've been working on this all, um, all winter, all and now all into the spring. It's it's gonna take a while for them to finish this. And yeah, I, 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 I if it bothers you, I guess I'm gonna have to put on the shades and say deal with it. <laughs> Because I've had to deal with it for a bunch of months here myself, and I obviously can't not record while they're not, I mean, while they're doing uh, road construction and are all noisy and stuff like that, and I can't record in another room than the room that I'm recording in now. Yeah, I know it's kind of, kind of, sort of a bother, but well, hopefully you can't hear it that badly. <laughs> uh, I got a bunch of booze here. This. So oh my. This could actually be a problem. I'm just gonna knock down the HP like that and do a Shade Fist. Yeah, I'm not doing a Fiery Jinx this time because I can survive their attacks relatively fine. This is, just please don't go invisible. Uh, goes invisible. That's what I was hoping it wouldn't do, but eh, well, I guess I'll just have to deal with it with the shades. <laughs> um, I could, you know, Veil. To dodge attacks, but mm, I'm just going to defend, I guess. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I failed. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, this should finish it. And there we go. Another star point for me. One point at a time we are reaching that level up soon. Wow, look at all these drops. I've gotten a lot of coins just from playing through these floors. Pit, the Pit of 100 Trials, pretty dang good um, when, it, when it comes to monetary gain. Uh, oh, a mover! Here we go, here's something nice. Hey, what's up? I'm a mover. I know a few things about getting through this dungeon. For a few coins, I can move you where you want to go. Uh, so, where do you want to go? Um, if I go down, you can actually move past floors by paying certain amounts of coins. Since I'm on floor um, uh, 26, I don't want to go bypass floor 30 because I'll miss the item at that floor. So I'm just going to go down two levels just to show you what it's like, but you can pay more if you don't want the item on uh, uh, floor 30. Alright, close your eyes. My secret paths are secret. Don't be your eyes at all. Ooh, someone's using psychic attack! And here we are. <laughs> and it's uh, level 28. Yeah, yep. We just went down a few floors and come on. Oh, it's kind of hard to get on top of Lakitu's when, because you know, they're high up and yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Oh, no Voltrum. No Voltrum. Oh, actually, ooh. I should have went for the Gloomba. Oh, because it's got so much H. Well, it's got so much HP and attack power, and yeah. Um, ah! Down to two. Please don't attack me. Uh, ah, yeah! Got a little bit lucky there. But I appreciate that very much. <laughs> I, should, I shouldn't say, please don't attack me, because I knew it was going to attack, but I figured, I, w I was hoping it would hit Mario, and then Mario would dodge it with that effect that it had, you know, from the start of the battle. Uh, by the way, the badge setup that I'm using right now is the same badge setup that I had at the Glitz Pit, minus the um, double pain badge, of course, for obvious reasons. Alright, going down, and down, and down, and down. Ooh. Alright, last floor until the item. We got a ba-bomb. It could explode. Actually, no, it's not going to because I'm going to wipe it up before it does that. Um, I should probably fix myself on the booze. Like, focus my attention on the booze because they have a lot of HP. They can go dodgy. 
And yeah, well, not dodgy, invisible. Invisible's worse than dodgy. Because <laughs> at least with dodgy, you can you have a chance at uh, hitting them. When they go invisible, that's... Uh-oh, please don't, please don't. Okay. <laughs> a little worried there. Alright. Uh, if I attack that bomb with Vivian, will it explode in my face? I think it will, because it's a physical attack to an extent. Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. It was just 1 HP of damage. It was just a matter of getting rid of it, and out the boo went visible. I freaking... Well, I suppose I could do a sweet treat to boost my stats, because I'm going to get the... Um, uh, star points back anyway. Mm, just be productive on the turn. Do not get poison mushroom. No, 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 no. Oh, poopers. <laughs> Jim, stop it. No, let's let me go. There we go. That's not bad. Fills me up to the max. Oh, wait. Was my stats already maxed? I, maybe I wasn't really paying much attention there. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. At this point, I'm just gonna appeal and do some stylish moves to get my stats back anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. And... There we go. Sweet! Alright. And now we are reaching the 30th floor. Well, we are going to reach the 30th floor. Well, level 30. I keep saying floors, but they're always levels. Yeah. <laughs> All right, going down, going down, and here we go. This is the prize at the 30th floor. There's a prize at every 10th floor. The Zap Tap Badge, an incredibly awesome badge. It's it gives you like you know the Voltrum, how you use the like how you get electrified when you use the Voltrum for a few turns. That's what that does, except it does it constantly, and it's you can do it constantly for um, three badge points. I'm going to swap out, I think, my power bones for that, because it is fantastic. So I'm going to get, I mean, I got that set up for the next part. <laughs> I'm going to end it off here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I do the next set of floors in the pit of 100 trials. Come on, Vivian, get into this. You're, you're kind of like a ghostly...